All right, guys, what's up? Welcome to the vlog. Today, I'm gonna to be working on my golf shots. Oh. Let's see if I can hit it from off the tee. Let's try it from on the grass. Wow. Oh, these are like the rubber ones. Oh, that was the last one. Nice. Try not to do it over the fence. I have a wicked golf shot. That's over. I didn't see that come down. I don't even think that came down. All right, this, I'm using my seven iron. So, and these are not even my clubs. These are my old clubs. I got some new clubs a couple weeks ago. So, and they're at the uh, golf camp where I'm working at. So, I'll hopefully have those for you guys next week. It's hard because these aren't called plastic. This one's dented. This ball's dented. Oh, that's in the pool. Not missed. Yeah. Oh, that's gone. It's over there. All right. I'm gonna try to hit this yellow uh, orange. Look at that go. Oh my god. That's over the fence. No. All right. I'm always thinking these are going to go over the fence. Alright, I'm going to hit it from off the tee this time. It's not too windy today, so this should be fine. But... Oh my. Wow. Usually you're not supposed to hit your 7 iron off the tee, but, you know, I do it sometimes. So I think my 7 iron is my best iron, that's why I'm using it first, and then I'll do a, maybe I'll do a wedge and then maybe my driver, I don't know. In the trampoline, let's go. Blooper. If you guys don't know, I hit this, I hit the thing that I'm shooting on, I hit that as I swung. So I gotta always keep your eye on the ball. Oh god. Yeah, that's in the pool. 
All right, last one off the tee. Gotta make this one count. Oh, that's over the fence. Oh, it's stuck in a tree. All right, now, time for my wedge, my pitching wedge. As you saw there, my wedge, what you want to do is you want to kind of choke your hands up on the club a little bit, not down here. I All the time I used to do it down here. You want to kind of choke your hands up so you're like uh, down by the end of the grip. I don't know if you can see it there, but my hands were here before, like all the time a few years ago. And now I'm using them up here now. It's really helped me out. And then what you want to do is you want to kind of use it as a putt, but not really. I don't know if you guys can see this, but like this. I kind of just have your feet close together, kind of almost like a putt, but a bigger putt. Nice, easy switch. Let me show you. And with a with a uh, with a wedge, with a chip, you call it. You use a chipping. You don't want to have it on the tee. That's a bad example. You want to kind of get a lot of loft on it, so that it goes up and onto the green. So that's more of a sort of average, sort of medium uh, chip. If you want a soft chip, like that, that's when you're kind of close to the green, you want it on, on, on the fringe. If you're on the fringe, which is like the edge of the green, that's when you want to do that. But if you want like a hard chip, if you're like about 30 yards out, this is a hard chip. That's a bad example because the ball doesn't fly, it just kind of floats. Anyways, yeah, this is, I'm gonna work on my shipping right now. What you wanna do is rock your shoulders. You don't wanna move your wrists. You wanna rock your shoulders. And you wanna get under the ball, so that's how you get all your momentum and power. video is not sponsored by Powerbelt. Now I'm going to show you with a real ball. So I just grabbed one right out of my bag. This isn't very a good ball. It's an Intec 4. And so now I'm going to show you what a chip looks like with a real ball. Don't worry, this is not going to break any windows. Bad example. Okay, I'm gonna try it again. A noodle eight. Looks like a lightning bolt. I'm done using real golf balls. Bad example. Well, the rubber one is turned to plastic. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys what a six iron does with the ball. So as you saw, seven iron is my favorite club to use on the on the fairway. That gives you distance 
and a little bit of loft. Loft is how far, or how, uh, loft is when the ball goes high up. Distance is, you know, how far it goes. So a six, you should get all distance. It shouldn't be too much loft. A seven, you get a little bit more loft. Eight, you get a little bit more loft. Nine, you get a little bit more loft. Wedge, you get the most loft out of all the irons. So I'm gonna show you what the six. I got a lot of distance and not too much loft. Well, okay. In my defense, these are plastic golf balls. There's going to be a little bit of loft, but the distance is what matters. So we'll look at the distance, and that's what you want the ball to do. I'm making this a golf tutorial. <laughs> I'm making this a golf tutorial. rubber one that did turn to plastic. Hopefully this won't go over the fence. Did you guys see that? Did you see that one? That went low to the ground right to the fence. That's what you want the ball to do. You want the ball to have so much distance that it can get to the hole almost. If this doesn't make sense, just comment down below and I'll answer your questions. I'm, I'm not a pro. Um, I've been golfing for about four or five years now, and believe me, I'm not as good as all the other golfers in my city, in my area. I mean, I'm good. I mean, I'm gonna play golf for like the rest of my life, just because it's a fun thing that you can do. But I'm not. I'm not like a pro. So if you don't trust me, that's okay. All right, now I'm gonna show you what happens off. I think that one went over the fence, so I'm not gonna do that anymore. But you saw on the tee, it went really far, minus the loft, went really far. That's what we want the ball to do. So that was the six. I just shot two over the fence. I'm done with the six. I showed you the seven. Now I'm gonna go to the eight. Ow! Oh god, that hurt. Oh, so hot. Ouch. All right, so here's the eight iron. The eight iron, you wanna do the same thing as the six and the seven. You wanna swing the same way where you want your hands to be kind of at the top and maybe near the bottom a little bit, but not too much, maybe in the middle. And you wanna take a full swing basically. If you're close to the hole, don't take a full swing just because you don't want to go in. There's a B here. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's a B. I'm trying to stay still as possible so that this B will not come near. It's fine, whatever. Yeah, so as I was saying, you want to swing the same way as you would with a six or a seven, but you don't want to swing as hard. Now, this is a full swing, way back here and all the way through. You don't want to do that. You want to kind of go up to your, where the ball, where the club is parallel with your shoulders. And then swing. Now you see how that one got a little, got much more loft than the six and the seven? That's what you want. You want loft. You also want kind of distance. That's not what you that's what you not want.
I looked up. Oh gosh. Well, that's not good. I'm making a bunch of holes in the grass here with my feet. Alright, so that was my eight. Now, let's move on to the nine iron. Now the nine iron almost works the same way as a wedge, except you want to hit a little bit harder than the wedge if you're far away from the hole. If you're close to the hole, try to use your wedge. If you don't have a wedge, use your nine iron, but use a soft nine. What I mean by a soft nine is that you don't want to take a full swing with a nine iron when you're like 10 feet away from the green, because you're going to go way over the green and probably hit somebody in the head. So it's a little, little, little bit smaller swing than the eight, but a bigger swing than the wedge. Oh, the sun. Hey, I swear to you guys, I felt like I was gonna pass out at least 18 times this week and last week because it was so flipping hot. See how that had loft on it, but it didn't go, it went further than the wedge, obviously, because that's what it's supposed to do, but it didn't have as much loft as a wedge, I don't think. It might have, because it's a light ball, so it's going to go pretty high in the air, but in your, if you're playing a real game, you want to have enough loft so you get at least five feet to the green, if not on the green. If you get it on the green, that's great. Did not go as far as I wanted, but it went really hot. Alright, last one for today. And that was all my irons. Now, I'm not going to show you my driver because my backyard is not very long. And if I get a hold of it, it's going over the fence and probably hitting somebody's window. But they're plastic, they're not going to do much damage. But still, I really don't want to pay for any damages right now so I'm not going to show you my driver today and that is the end of golfing with Ben episode number one if you guys enjoyed and you want to see more comment down below and drop a like on this video it would really mean a lot to me um yeah I didn't show you my driver today obviously I don't want to hit over the fence I don't want to hit anybody hit anything and I don't I really don't want to lose any more balls um but yeah uh maybe next time if you guys want to see more if you guys want to see me use my driver on the driving range on my local golf course comment down below Tell me what you guys want me to do with my next episode of Golfing with Ben. Now, this is going to be sort of a separate... No, it's going to be in the vlogs, but it's also going to be its own separate thing, basically. If you guys want this to be part of the vlogs, comment down below. If you guys want it to be its own separate thing, comment below. The majority of comments by tomorrow at 9.30 p.m., I will decide whether I'm going to do this as part of the vlogs or its own separate thing. So stay tuned Friday. Um, it'll probably be bef it'll probably be during my Q&A video. Also, Q&A video, comment down below your questions for me so I can answer them.